is Mike Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on Gmail 301 Advanced Studies. In this segment, we're going to look briefly at mobile Gmail. The power of Gmail is multiplied when you can take it with you on your mobile device. And there are a number of ways to get it on your mobile device. Here we're on the Google Mobile page. There's a link to it in the show notes. On this page, you can put in your mobile number here, have it send you a link to your mobile phone, or you can go to this URL in your mobile phone's browser. There you'll get mobile Gmail and you can get Maps, Reader, and so on. There's also a Gmail for mobile page. You can click on this drop-down menu and pick your style of phone, Android, iPhone, Blackberry, Nokia S60, Windows Mobile, and other. Here again, you can put in your phone number and have it send you a link, or you can go to this URL, which is also in the show notes. On BlackBerry devices, there's also Google Sync, which synchronizes all of your contacts and your calendar information. It's extremely handy. We'll take a look at the interface for Gmail on the iPhone. Look in the email. You can see it has full features up at the top. You can click a drop-down menu. Mark as unread, add to stars, report spam, label it. You can archive it, go back to the inbox. You can scroll through your messages. You can also go straight to Google Calendar, Google Docs, and more right from here. Having Gmail on your mobile device is extremely powerful because it's synchronized with your desktop. So the mail that you handle on your mobile device is handled when you get back to your desk. Keep in mind this is the multiple part series and be sure to watch all 10 parts.